वेलकम एवरी वन हेर इज डॉक्टर संधु फ्रॉम बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट एंड रिसर्च चैनल और टूडेज टॉपिक इज स्पैन ऑफ मैनेजमेंट और इन अदर वर्ड्स इट इज स्पैन ऑफ कंट्रोल इन मैनेजमेंट डेफिनेशन द नंबर ऑफ एम्प्लाईज हु रिपोर्ट टू ए मैनेजर इज रेफर टू एज द स्पैन ऑफ कंट्रोल और स्पैन ऑफ मैनेजमेंट इन मैनेजमेंट so it's very much clear that within organization you will find a manager and employees to report him a manageable workforce is referred to as a manager's span of control and it's very much obvious that the range of control expands as the staff size increases manager used to have an average of four employees to oversee in the past due to the introduction of information technology which made monitoring and controlling easier it later rose to more than 10 employees per manager here you can see the difference of the past activities and the latest activities so before there were four employees per manager but now 10 because of advancement in technologies now it has increased from more than 10 employees due to the adoption of modern organizational concepts teams today are multidisciplinary consisting of experts from various departments who report to various supervisors making the idea of a span of control less significant there are certain factors which are affecting span of control and the first factor is physical location the management span will be limited if the team is dispersed across numerous locations making it challenging for managers to supervise their staff it is one of the challenge number 2 managerial competencies a skilled manager can oversee more employees increasing their management scope employee competencies if subordinates are competent managing them will be simpler because they won't need as much supervision consequently managers will have a wider range of control number 4 assignment of work the staff will be experienced and require less supervision and control if the tasks they are given are repetitive and similar consequently the controls range will be wider number 5 the duties of manager managers scope of management will be limited if they are also responsible for other organizational duties in addition to leading a team span of control types we will discuss two types wide span of control and narrow span of control so what is wide span of control flat structured organizations will have few hierarchical levels and a broad range of control many employees are under the supervision of managers here since there are fewer levels of hierarchy it is less expensive and more adaptable to change the main benefit of this control span are lower cost faster planning and well trained subordinates if there are many employees this type of controls primary drawback is managing them additionally having a large workforce can occasionally be confusing and challenging for the management organizations with a large number of levels in the hierarchy will have a limited range of control here managers are responsible for fewer workers with complex work requirements where ongoing managerial support is required a narrow span of control is very much useful the principal benefit of this control is simple management planning and decision making this range of controls primary drawback is its price more managers 
equal higher expenses, more level of hierarchy also results in communication delays. Summary, according to its needs, an organization may have a range of control. A wide span network is suitable for simple work that requires little supervision. However, complicated work necessitates close observation, necessitating narrow span of control. Both control spheres can exist in large organizations. Keep it in mind. For instance, both the top level and the lower level have a limited range of control. Thank you very much. Keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. Best of luck.